Then we had the uh, Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, Sting, and Darby versus Ricky Starks, Big Bill, Takeshita, and Powerhouse Hobbs. And obviously the story of this match was Chris Jericho because these fans... And this was exactly how it was described. There were, there were several people in the building, and I'm sure Corey was there, and he could tell you the same thing. But the the story from the building was when Jericho came out, everybody sang a song. Everybody, and sang, a, everybody sang a song, and when the song was over, they started booing him. They started booing him. And at the beginning, I was told that, you know, people, when they boo, like the boos are loud, and that it was it was a small percentage booing, and there were people trying to cheer them down. But the longer the match went... The more people were booing, and by the end of the match, I mean it was it was solid booing for the match. And, every, time uh, was, every time Jericho was in, he was booed, and there were there were light chants. There was a light chant of NDA. There was a light chant of CM Punk. I mean, it wasn't like they were loud, but they were they were audible. You could hear them, um, but mostly just boos, you know. And it it's uh, you know the news that broke with Nick Hausman and everything and. At the press conference, there were three different times where it was brought up, um, you know, as far as, you know, the basic question was, um, was there ever an investigation into Chris Jericho? And Tony Khan's answer when, twice was that um, he wasn't going to comment on an unsourced rumor, but we have the greatest safety of any wrestling company that there is. He kept saying safety, you know, and it's like... Um, so he said, you know, it's um, I don't think that it it's going to um, I don't think what he said is going to alleviate anything. I don't know what will or won't. I don't know how, the, you know, eventually. Well, no. And in fact, it, it actually, I think, is going to make it worse because the question was asked point blank. Was there an investigation? This this was right. asked point blank. Yeah, and it's an easy blank, yes or no. And, and he did not yes say or no. yes so or no. Needed, yeah. And that's going to make it worse. As soon as it was over, I thought. This will this this does not quell anything. He didn't say anything. It's like whenever there's a controversy, you know, he tries to give the answer to quell it, and all it does is is cause the opposite. It's the same reason why the brawl. Well, he doesn't always try to give the answer to quell it because many times he gives an answer that isn't an answer at all. And you know, how many times did people ask him about? They wanted to ask him about Punk or the Young Bucks or the fight, and, and he, he would not give any answer to quell it. He would just not answer the question at all. And uh, is, it, by doing that, it, it it made it larger. I mean, like essentially, like look, if we go back to that thing, there was a fight. Fights happen in locker rooms since the beginning of time. There have been you know things that happen. Sometimes they're really bad. Sometimes they're Sometimes they're resolved a day later. Sometimes it's 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 pretty bad, you know. Like with the you know, I mean Jacques Rougeau or whatever, right? With with dynamite. But but the thing is, is that like a year later, it's like okay, this is the story and it's gone. And then you know, something happens. Sometimes guys even quit companies over it. But um, it's like it doesn't linger and linger and linger. And you know that one did, which you know really had had Punk not left AEW. The reality is, is that Punk and the Young Bucks all were hurt by it as far as that. You know what I mean? I mean, they were all hurt. Then Punk left, and you know, now he's not hurt by it at all. And if it was, again, if, if they just had addressed it right away, people would have moved on. And it's like, okay, there's a fight. It's over. Whatever. You know? Um, but, and it's it's the same thing here. You know, it's like, if it's addressed, I mean, who knows? I mean, it's a serious thing. So, I mean, it will... You know, we're going to have to, uh, you know, if, if hopefully whatever, whatever it is, hopefully it, hopefully whatever it is comes out, you know, and whatever it is. And at that point, um, you know, I mean, obviously it's, it could be very serious and it, you know, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be, it's not good for Jericho right now until it's addressed. I just have to say that because this only fanned the flames and it's not, it's not. I don't see it going away anytime soon. And um, and it's a more serious thing. You know, it's again one of those things where if there's something there, uh, better come out. And if there's nothing there, um, unless you say there's nothing there, it's just you know. And then people may or may not go from there. But he didn't say there's nothing there. He didn't say anything. And um, 
here we are. And he was asked point blank. That's that's like the key. Oh yeah. It, it was brought up three different times, well, the, and the, first, uh, the, 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 the question was, was flat out asked: Was there an investigation or not? And if there wasn't, he could have just said no. But he he didn't say anything. He didn't. He didn't say. Any, he didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He just said that we have a great safety record here, and he went through the, the channels that you go through, and you can go through, and you can talk to him, and you can. We have a disciplinary committee, which they have. You know, I mean, we went through the whole thing without answering the question. I mean, it, it would have been better to answer the question. That's all I would say, and and answer it completely. Whether it's that's it's, that's good or bad, whether the answer is good or bad. Answering the question would at least um, it would give us something where we could go, OK, what is it? What should happen? And we didn't get that. And that's what's going to make it worse. It did appear from watching the match that like everybody involved in the match was like, I don't know, man. There were a lot of missed spots. There were a lot of it was just a weird match. And uh, Sting at one point, I mean, I had people asking if Sting was hurt because he didn't look good in this match. And, you know, they, like I said, you know, they, they, I think, they I think, I think, I think everybody, I think everybody was thrown off. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the heels, they would do, they would do spots on Jericho and they would get cheered big for that. And uh, yeah, at the end, the, it was but, just, but it's not like they cheered the heels because obviously every time Sting was in the place went crazy. Yeah. They loved Sting. They loved Darby. They, loved Darby. Uh, they were yeah. they didn't love they didn't love Sammy and Sammy was the guy who was you know to, to win the whole thing so I think when when Sammy got the pin um over Ricky Stark for the shooting star you know it was one of those things where when he went up there I mean the people kind of sensed you know because again the logical finish of this match the logical finish was Sammy Guevara pinning Ricky Starks to set up the tag team title match which is where the plan was to go and I think that when he went up there, um, they uh, kind of sensed that. And I think they got really mad because I think that maybe to them at this point, they probably didn't want that tag team match, which we all knew this this match was to build up that tag team match, the title yeah. match, relatively soon. Well, I mean, this afternoon, there were like a lot of people asking, like, you know, do you think Jericho's going to be pulled from the show? And I I thought, no, they're not going to pull from chance. the show. Not a chance. Not a chance. But, I mean, you know, as soon as they did the finish, it was like, well, you know, they didn't pull him from the show, and they're going straight ahead with Jericho and Sammy versus Ricky and Big Bill for the tag team title. So well, they may not. they're moving they may... forward as if nothing's going on. There's no story. Yeah, well... That would have been the idea as far as, um, you know, that would have been the idea you know, um, going into the match with the crowd reaction. Um, and they still may. They still may just go and go, look, you know, we're we're going to do it. And, uh, you know, and who knows, you know, again, like as far as, you know, in an, in another and, and in another city, maybe the reaction will be different when they're in Jacksonville or when they're in New Orleans or wherever they're going to be when they go forward um but it's something that you got to think about right now because um you know it uh it, it did it you know it's it's going to be a, a tough road i think this one's going to be a tough road just like the other one and um until you know somebody comes in with a real statement of something you know like yes we investigated and there was nothing no there's no investigation this is all made up Someone's got to say something. Yes, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, maybe there is something which, you know, but whatever the actual thing is, it's got to come out. And um, until it does, you know, at first I thought the same thing, just like, uh, you know, just go on and whatever. That's what I figured they would do. But, um, you know, I think that today it became a much bigger story and now it's a big story. Um, that we don't know, that we don't know. You know, we just know an allegation and uh, people know it. It's not hidden. It's not, a, you know, you can't go, well, it's only a few people who know um, because it was loud enough in the building that uh, this crowd, I think maybe at the very beginning, it was only a couple, like you said, it was only a couple people. And even those when certain chants really didn't pick up, but there was enough booing there that everyone who watched this match knew that he was getting booed. And a lot of people know why. Hey guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.